Hey there, event marketers. Jessica Heasley here with another episode of EM All Access, where we connect you with some of the industry's most innovative events and the marketers behind them. Today's episode is sponsored by GES, a global full service provider of live events. And it focuses on the role of design. Fact is, design is no longer defined by the look of a general session, the color scheme of a partner area, or the structures used. Great event design creates an engagement that spans all of it, every touch point, from the beginning to the end of an event. I spoke with two of GES's top creatives, Robin Stapley and Heather Camardello, about the changing role of design, the evolving look and feel of events, and design thinking. Let's listen in. How has the role of design within experience design evolved and changed? Event design is less about the things, less about the structures, and more about the experiences. And it's a holistic experience. I think it's from, you know, the, the minute you get that, that sort of first email, from what's your experience when you arrive at the parking lot. I think it's, it, is, it is from the, the food and beverage. I think it needs to be a sort of, as, as a complete holistic experience. So it used to be the, the venue or the exhibit was, was the event, the destination, right, right. but now it's every minute leading up to, it's every, meaning, every minute post-event. Correct. When does design help, when does it hurt? If you're talking about when design helps and hurts is, is I think, I think you, you, you want to design the entire space, but you don't want to, you don't want to feel like you're being, it's over-designed. So you don't want to be aware of the design. I mean, I think that's, that's key is, you know, when you design, you, design really does help and you want to design, design everything. Um, but make sure it's not as obtrusive. I think that's the, to me, is the, the balance, I think. So. Right, when an event is well designed, yeah. nobody notices. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's yeah. supposed to be seamless mm -hmm. and human centric mm -hmm. and yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. And if we've done our job, mm -hmm. we can move attendees mm -hmm. from one engagement to the next, mm -hmm. keep them engaged, and also be able to collect valuable data that our clients can then use. So how has technology impacted experience design and event design? We love that question yeah. because it's, it's a huge, yeah. huge topic for us. First of all, it's given us a greater toolbox within to, to play and work, um, especially with social media. Um, it gives us a new level of advocacy. And, uh, it provides m more opportunities for attendees to circle back. Whether they circle back to a physical or a virtual space, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's a whole new level of advocacy. We're just doing projects now where we're actually doing three, uh, five, 5D access routers and then using 3D printing material. I mean, it's just incredible just the, the amount of uh, resources available to, to you. And you can get stuff done a lot quicker now as well, which is terrific. Mm -hmm. So you can come up with an idea and, and, and produce it a lot, a lot quicker now. And in the design process, I would imagine then you can show your clients a more realistic Absolutely. view of what it's going to look like, and so they can really feel it before it actually And take them on the journey. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's a big part of you know, design thinking and is collaboration, mm -hmm. not only collaborating with the, with the client, and, and, but also collaborating within your team as well to kind of produce these mm -hmm. events. So can we talk about some of the biggest trends, the biggest event design trends or design trends in general that are impacting the event industry, some things that you are either um, providing for your clients or that your clients are asking for more often? Another change in the face of events and the design of events, it's more taking a 2D brand environment and creating it into a 3D experience. So data visualization is a big thing, and how we create um, interactive um, like crowdsourcing. Gamification is another really yeah. big one. Yeah. And, and yeah, again, I think we're, we're all children at heart, and we like to, look, again, um, adding games and fun. And at, at the end of the day, I think uh, you, you learn so much more um, when, when you're having fun and when you're sort of having, having sort of more of a game of you know, making it a game than just actually just like giving sort of dry, dry data. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would right. imagine that with all the technology available, it would be tempting to put that all in at the same right. time because it is yeah. fun, but I, some yeah. part of this yeah. experience design and design thinking is yeah. being strategic about it is. It is, it is critical. And also, I think you can also lean too much on technology. So you can have touch screens everywhere and you can have a lot of electronic uh, interactives. 
it's finding that blend. I think if you can do, you can do digital, but then also do some tactile interactives. Mm -hmm. um, you know, simple things like we, we did an event recently where we had uh, a whack-a-mole and we actually turned them into um, some of the CEOs of the different, of the different, of from the different organizations and they had their pictures on the whack-a-mole. And that was like one of the most popular events, you know. So again, it's just, I think it's just thinking, 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 thinking that way. It's that fine line between analog and digital. Mm -hmm. I think it is. It's an enabler. Yeah. Technology is yeah. definitely an enabler. So how is GES then rising to the challenge and evolving its design offerings so that it keeps pace with what attendees want? Uh, while also being a leader in right. that regard. We are definitely, we definitely pride ourselves on reimagining the attendee experience. And it's less about the, the, the work and more about the result, more about how we can create a new and memorable experience for our clients' attendees. We are storytellers, mm -hmm. and we really want to take people on sort of an emotional journey. And so... Um, in, in how you lay something out and how you design that, that experience uh, is very much how we, how we view events and, and, mm -hmm. and, and our, our, exper our experiences is, you know, you've got to tell a story and you want somebody to go on that journey and sort of walk out there sort of having a clear understanding of that. And content is key. I mean, everybody's time is valuable. They want to know that they're getting something of value and something personal and unique to them. And that's the best thing we can do for our clients is if, and their attendees, if they show up and they're drawn in and they're surprised and they're engaged and it becomes their own story, the best thing we can have them do is go and take their own personal story out and, and share it with other people. The look of events and the feel of experiences are being upgraded in real time as marketers look to build more intimate and engaging live dialogues. Technology is amplifying and extending the conversation, acting as an enabler between analog and digital. Learn more about this episode's sponsor, GES, at GES.com, and explore our growing library of EM All Access conversations and behind-the-scenes tours at eventmarketer.com. <laughs>